dear students, I'm very happy to see you today. Здравствуйте, дорогие ребята! Я очень рада видеть вас на уроке английского языка. So, are you ready for today? Please prepare your copybooks and pens. Today we will write very important information. Дорогие ребята, пожалуйста, приготовьте свои ручки и тетради. Сегодня мы будем записывать очень важную информацию. Before we start our lesson, let's look through the plans of our lesson. First of all, today we will revise prepositions of the place. Then we will learn ordinal numbers. And you will be able to describe your dream house. Dear students, before we start our lesson, let's revise the topic of our previous one. Дорогие ребята, прежде чем начать тему основного урока, давайте повторим, что мы прошли на прошлом. So, the topic of our lesson was prepositions of the place. И сейчас вместе с вами мы повторим предлоги места. Окей, okay, please look at the screen. What can you see? I will give you the information. You will need to tell me if information true or false. Let's start. There is a wardrobe next to the bed. Dear students, can you see the wardrobe next to the bed? Yes, of course, well done. This information is true. Okay, so another information. There are some pens on the floor. Can you see the pens on the floor? No, of course, so this information is false. Well done. So, there is a big window behind the table. Well done! This information is true. You are the best. There is a girl on the bed. Can we see the girl on the bed? No, of course. So this information is false. Well done! So the grammar topic of our lesson is ordinal numbers. Дорогие ребята, тема нашего урока по грамматике – это порядковые числительные. Так же, как и в русском языке, в английском языке для того, чтобы показать порядок каких-либо предметов, мы используем порядковые числительные. So, in order to build ordinal numbers, you should use the combination of the letters T and H. Ребята, для того, чтобы мы образовали порядковые числительные в английском языке, мы используем сочетание букв C and H. Однако в английском языке существуют числа исключения, и их порядковые числительные образуются при помощи других правил. Давайте обратим внимание. So, for example, number one, first, number two. Second, number three, third. If you want to say the order of these numbers, please use this rule. Okay, now we will revise the ordinal numbers together. Please look at the picture. Ребята, давайте посмотрим на наши порядковые числительные и пример. Обращаем внимание на написание данных числительных. So, four, fourth, five, fifth, six, sixth, seven, sevens, eight, eighths, nine, ninths, ten, tens, twenty, twenties, thirty, thirties, hundred, hundreds. So, dear students, if you have in the end of the number letter Y, it will be changed to letter I, and the ending will be E, T, H. So, please remember this rule. Дорогие ребята, давайте обратим внимание на написание наших числительных. Если у нас числительно заканчивается на букву Y, как в слове 20, то, когда 
слово образует порядковое числительное Y у нас заменяется на букву I. И окончание у нас будет E, T, H. Twenties. Please remember this rule. Дорогие ребята, также у нас есть буква сочетания T, H. Не путаем его со звуком. У этого буква сочетания есть два разных произношения. So, in TH letter combination we have two types of the pronunciation. So, let's pay attention to the pronunciation with the letter combination TH and voiced sound Th. This is voice sound the, which is used in different words like the, there, this and those. Дорогие ребята, первый вариант звука в буквосочетании th это звук the, звонкий звук. Он используется в таких словах как the, there, this and those. Есть очень много разных предметов в английском языке. Их нужно будет запомнить. Another type of the pronunciation for the letter combination TH is unvoiced sound TH. TH. Ребята, второй вариант произношения буквы сочетания TH – это глухой звук TH. Давайте посмотрим на примеры. Let's look at the examples. For example, sixth, ninth, seventh, eighth. Now we will revise two types of the sounds for the letter combination th in this sentence. Давайте посмотрим на данное предложение. Оно поможет нам повторить буквы сочетания th в разных вариациях звука. So let's read together. 33,000 people think that this Thursday is their 30th birthday. Could you repeat after me? Did you do it correctly? Well done, you are the best. Dear students, let's play a little game. Please look at the picture. You need to match the words with the numbers. So, the word number one, sevens. The next word, tens. Did you find? Good. Fifteenth. Well done. Twenty-third. Where is twenty-third number? Good. Number, the next number, first. Number exception. You are the best. Thirty second. Well done. Ninth. Good. Sixtieth. Can you find sixtieth? Well done. You did a great job. Dear students, Today we will also speak about our dream house. But before we start our conversation, let's look through the new vocabulary. So, the first word is garden, sad. Another word is downstairs. This is the first floor in your house. Upstairs, this is the upper floor in your house. And garage, a special place for your car. Dear students, please look at the picture. What can you see? Of course, this is your dream house. Is this dream house big or small? You're right, this house is big. So, please write down this sentence into your copybooks. My dream house is big. So, what do you think? How many rooms are there in this house? You can count. 
there are seven rooms in the house. Please write this information down. Dear students, what can you see downstairs? There is a large living room with a sofa, a TV and a fireplace downstairs. There is also a kitchen. There is a large dining table with six chairs in the kitchen. Please write this information down. It is very important. So, what can you see upstairs? There are three bedrooms and a bathroom upstairs. Write this information down as well. So, the next question is what can you see in the garden? There are some tall trees in the gardens. Write down this information as well. And do you remember about the place for car, garage? So, what can you say about this place? There is a garage next to the house. Write this information down. Dear students, you did a great job. Well done. So, our lesson is almost over. Before we finish it, let's remember what we have learned today. First of all, we have revised the prepositions of the place. Then, we have learned ordinal numbers. And in the end of the lesson, we have described our dream house. Please try to describe it. For now, our lesson is over. Goodbye.